Hello. Oh. Oops. Text messaging. <laughs> All right. I don't know if anyone's here yet, but a couple people are, it looks like. I'm going to tell the people here that you just started it. Um, All right. can, you, can you send me the link? I will. But you're still talking to a couple people live, I think. So hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. I will. But you're still talking to a couple people live, I think. Gotta love Adrian times two. Okay. Hi, Doug. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Hi, Kathy. Hi, everybody. Dawn, I'm sending you the link right now. Um, guys, it? just bear with us for a second because I sent, uh, we sent out a promo this week and I didn't know you couldn't do a stream in the promo. So we are sending everybody else the link. Thank you for being here. I am gonna show some of your comments. I don't know if I can get to all of these. Oh my goodness gracious, there's 17 of you in the chat. Hi Gail, hi Vanessa, hi Doug, hi Irma, hi JP, Kathy. Ishara, I just hit the notification and it switched me to this one. Okay, well, there you go. Dawn, it, oh, it cool. sends them right over. So I guess. Oh my God, that's great. That is great. Hi, thanks for joining us, everybody. Hi, Ishara. <laughs> Hi, Jane. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. So uh, we are here for the first Bobbles and Bubbles. My hair looks like this because it's 80s night, not because I'm shooting a white snake <laughs> after this broadcast. <laughs> it felt like I was getting ready for prom today. Oh, yeah, right. I was doing one of these. One of these. I know that when I piled, I piled it all up on the top of my head in a scrunchie. <laughs> and I was like, you know, I just can't do it. Oh my gosh. Hi, Kristen. Jane, you made it good. Jane, so Jane came over from the, the waiting. So that's awesome. Thank you. Yes, we're both in California. We're not together. We are together, but we're not together. <laughs> we um, did official after all. Cheers. Cheers to the first. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Um, what are you guys? What are you guys drinking? I think we should have hello from PA. Howdy, JPR. Oh, oh, it's delayed. That's what it is. Okay, so I can't look at the thing. I just have to look at the chat. Wow. I'll, I'll show them. I'll show them as they start to come in. But we should also start. So, um, so <laughs> let's, let's do a, a quick review. Don and I have been moderating each other's auctions for the last you know, several weeks and decided to make it official. And so we're going to be doing monthly auctions, sometimes with a theme like this one from the 1980s. And we're going to be auctioning off um, our collections, but also, you know, trying to have some fun conversations with all of you. I'm a novice. John is the, the expert from Hudson Vintage. We're on my channel right now. That might change. We might switch off. So you know, we might start a new channel. We're not sure about the name. I actually reserved Bobbles and Bubbles last night on YouTube. Just so you know, I meant to tell you. I yeah. know. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> so Doug said the C word, though. Oh, Doug. Doug. I know. <laughs> I I'm so Pavlovian. <laughs> I should I should have had a coffee before this. Coffee. I'm addicted to that as well, unfortunately. All my Bloody Mary, nice. I have a Bloody Mary. All right. Cheers. Like if only in, they could send pictures in the chat. How oh, amazing. Right. That be. I Cheers. Will. Cheers. Hi, oh look, hey Kim and Kelly. Kim and Kelly, friends. From the community, Sprite, Sprite, Sprite Zero. <laughs> Sprite Zero. Sprite Zero. I'm drinking kombucha. I don't know if I said that already. So and I'm drinking club soda in a uh, champagne flute because if I started drinking, I <laughs> could conduct this auction. But as you know, my helper husband 
We'll probably bring a martini over at the end of this or a glass of wine. So we'll see. Nice. We'll see. So Don, um, do you want to start? Okay. So do you want to do, I, I feel like I want to show them a little bit of what I have first. Yes, do it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and that way you'll get a little warmed up to be able, because I'm on two computers. The person who can't handle one computer is now on two computers. And I know why all those YouTubers always have two computers now. Um, so we start, I'm gonna show the rings. This is not the order in which they will be shown, but this is how they're on. This is a crazy ring from the 1980s. It's supposed to be like after Versace. It's actually signed and it has mother of pearl, but the rest of it is like pretty out there. This is gorgeous. This is actually 80s, but this is modernist from Israel. This is really cool. Um, this is the nicest one I've seen. I've spent the last three days when I couldn't sleep. I have been researching these Israel modernist rings. This is the nicest one I've seen so far. Uh, brutalist cats, dated That's 80s. So cool. Is that um, blue and blue? Well, no, it's just look at them. I, mean, I think they're house cats. They might be like lionesses. I like it. They're cool. Yeah. And then the Black Hills Gold, that counts because they've been making that forever. And I did the research on that, too. I couldn't believe how much they're going for now. And then I found my other cat ring, the Sleeping Kitty. Aww. And Oh, the Sleeping Kitty. I know. That's so cute. You know where it was? It was in a purse. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't it be in a purse? Of course. <laughs> I can't believe I found it. Like, how lucky was that? And then um, here's the tray. I also have a belt back there. I pulled some things that we were talking about yesterday. I pulled them because I hadn't researched them in a while and I couldn't believe it. Like the Jess Mahoney turned or Mahari actually turns out that that is that was future vintage. It's vintage now. It's going for a fortune. Really? So I, I held off on it. So, so we have this. I know you saw already. I showed it to you in the office, this like ceramic 80s. Um, this necklace from yesterday, the enameled pansy and the garnet. Oh, these, these are fabulous. There's none online right now. Oh, that's And Klein cool. Lion. We were talking about them, remember? I love so them. So I pulled them. Um, Plicajor, domes, 80s. And then I did the yeah. cousin A to go with it. Nice. And then this, this is, um, Forget the first name. The last, these are so 80s. These are really collectible too, as it turns out. These are now. A photo in there? What's yeah, that? it's like a collage of like a angel or 1920s later. Um, you can Google it. It's uh, something Wilson, Eston. I have a Perry Ellis. Oh, I have this. Oh, I'm excited. Are right, you start? You, you, you're going to start tonight. You mean. The okay. Option. Let's give them the rules in case they haven't joined. Oh, them. okay. Oh, you know what? We didn't talk about this. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. <laughs> I kind of know what you're going to say, but go for it. Okay. Well, I normally, what I do is I try and just be a human being about shipping, nothing too crazy. I, I feel like if people spend $45 or more, they qualify for free shipping unless it's too much. Like if they live in another country or they're, you know, ordering a purse and you know what I mean? Like other stuff and it just gets really big. So after like $13 or $15, I split it with them. I'll say, look, I'm already spending 15. It's another 10. Do you want to give me five? Something like that. So, but for simplicity's sake, what I do say is $45 free shipping unless, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm happy to play that too. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. And then so, so in terms of bidding, well, first, first, let me say this. If we haven't done business with you before, please send us an email ASAP with mm -hmm. your name, PayPal name, address, um, and we'll have your email. But send us the email that's affiliated with your PayPal if it's different than the email address you're sending it from we do two dollar increments to the fifty dollar price point and then we go to five dollar increments and then from a hundred dollars on we do ten dollar increments um we are not going to post the comments across the screen while we're showing 
our collections just so you can get optimal view. So I'm gonna stop oh, you that's know, doing the chat um, in the center of the screen, but we can see what you're saying. Um, and as much as we can, I will be calling the auction as I used to always do with Dawn um, in writing in the chat. She will do the same for me. And then once we feel like we get close to the end of the bidding, one of us will help the other to close out the um, that particular auction item. Okay. What I miss? Anything? I don't know. That sounds good. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So I'm going first. <laughs> oh, I can go first. You want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the chat. Yes. And talk All right. So we're going to do. We're going to try doing. I'll do three items, and then we'll switch to Dawn. And as always, you know, towards the end of the auction, if you haven't seen something and you want to, you know, call it to our attention, if we have it handy, maybe we'll bring it tonight. If not, we'll bring it next time. Um, and yes, Vintage Jewelry Calore, we have separate emails, Hudson Vintage, which I highly recommend you subscribe to. I am a novice and just jewelry lover. Dawn is an expert, having spent several decades um, working in the vintage jewelry area um, in many Can different... I Yes. Okay. Totally yeah. bold interruption. I just was, I, I haven't been able to check my email since my video came out today. There's a lot of people inquiring about the pieces in the video. So I haven't written you back. I will write you back. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that I am writing you back. You will all get answers. Okay. And my email is in my about section. And obviously, Dawn and I are closely connected. If you write to me, I will connect you to her. And But I highly recommend you subscribe to her channel, and you'll see her email. And it's Hudson Vintage on, um, on YouTube. Yeah. Right? Yep. All right. Let me get started. Um, so I have the replay, you can put the link down there. My link will be down there. In yes. the replay. Yeah. Okay. Love the split screen, thank you. And someone said, I thought you were gonna wear 80s hair. And I thought this was 80s hair, but I but I could be wrong, maybe I forgot. No, that looks total like, you know, so we met, we were talking before we started the live and Adrian was like, uh, I'm not from a white snake video. <laughs> it's just I know. I'm in an Armani, this is an old Armani. I'm in an old Armani 80s jacket. Which is super and doesn't cool. that say exactly who we are? Like I'm a Jersey girl. I look like, yeah. you, and you're like sophisticated and in Armani. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's gorgeous. This Ooh. is the first item. Um, and this is, by the way, one more thing, and then we'll try and keep the conversation to a minimum and get to the jewelry. I love it but though. Dawn and I have seen each other's lists, but we have not seen the bulk right. of our collections that we're showing tonight. So when Dawn acts surprised, she's surprised. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is an Avon gold tone collar necklace. I know I'm crazy about Avon vintage and I do have a couple pieces from them tonight. So I'm going to put my 80s hair back so you can see it. Um, it's really pretty. It's very comfortable. It's not, you know, a crazy heavy weight. I'm starting this at 15. It's kind of a beautiful lattice with these loops. Here's how it closes. I'm getting used to StreamYard. It's like the reverse. So bear with me as I bring these things across the screen. And that's the closure. That is totally rad. I know. I love Avon Vintage. Avon makes um, nice jewelry now, too. But I think the the vintage stuff is just kind of amazing. I so agree. $15 start, which I think is a, a great price for this. It's beautifully made and, um, and nice and easy to wear. And, you know, if you've been following Dawn, hi, Jen. If you've been following Dawn, and all of her videos, you know that 80s jewelry is making a comeback um, and is pretty wearable today as it was back then. Um, so you can see a lot of, like the things I'm wearing, even though I'm wearing this on 80s night, this is vintage Kenneth J. Lane. And I wore these on my last vacation with my husband and got compliments on them because they're different and cool and 
And these are 80s earrings. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't see any bids for the collar necklace. Um, okay. I need to get your list up so that I could do this. But that's okay. I can go to the next one. Okay. I want to bid on the first few items. I love that, that, though. I think that is so pretty. I know. Maybe well, it. we'll share it. Or I'll send it to you. So Dawn and I often like each other's items and bid on them. I think we're going to try not to do that tonight because I heard there's a lag in this particular software that we're using. So yeah. we don't want to take away um, from what's going on for you guys. Um, but we very often gift each other things and share. Okay. So this is Nolan Miller. And it is a pearl drop pendant necklace. Starting bid for this is 30. I'm going to show it to you on and also on a mannequin. The Oh, we have our tea. Martha bid our $15 on the on the on the um on the collar. Oh, okay. Should we let's you want to her. let's just her for 15 because I think we moved on. Yeah, cool. Congratulations. That's a steal for that. Yeah. Um, First, first kid got it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love when that happens to me too when I'm in an auction. Um, okay, so this is very pretty. There's um, a piece here. The pendant comes off. I'll show you so that it's an extender and you can wear it on other pieces. Starting bit, I think I said was 30. I'm going to show it to you here as well. Oh, you know what? I just figured it out. What? It's the lag. It's a major, see, because you're just, okay. I'm watching. We're new to this. We're, we're using StreamYard. There, there's still people waiting in the promo link because I was just no, there. Thank you, Martina. What's probably okay, this is fascinating. So do you have any other bids for the um, Avon? Nolan Miller? Nolan Miller designed the clothing and jewelry on Dynasty. Yes, and I believe for share. Right, Pokemama? Who's actually my mama? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm calling it. Okay, so um, let me do it again. So $30, putting it in. Okay, so this is $30. It's Nolan Miller. I'm going to measure it for you guys. And then I'm also going to show you how the pendant comes off. Um, my mom is right. He did design for Dynasty um, and many other celebrities. It's 24 inches. Um, and I believe for share, but Dawn can weigh in if you know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he did design. No, shares. I'm thinking that's Bob Mackey. Oh, you're right. Oh, maybe it was Nolan Miller too, but definitely Bob. But, oh, look at that. Bob Mackie, Pokemama in the house. Uh, she knows, this is why, like when I talk about my love of jewelry and how I got it from my mom, she knows. Okay. That comes so out. I feel like, oh, look at this. Say go, and I'll hit return, and we can see how long it takes. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Okay. One, this two, three. Gold. Go. It, there's no way to see if it's gold plated, vintage jewelry galore. I think his pieces were, but I, I can't promise that. Um, it looks to me like it is just because of the quality of the, the gold tone. So do we have a do, oh, go? There it is. Okay. Thank you. That was really helpful. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start this. I'm right. moving on. Oh, you're moving on. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm going to keep it going tonight. Okay. Okay. All right. The next item is a Givenchy brooch. Oh, very um, 80s. No. Hold on. I'm just going to put it together here. How great would that look on the Avon collar? <gasps> oh. That's oh. smart. That would be now it's suddenly it's long fun. Hello. Wow. Okay. That's great. That's really great. 
<laughs> no, you can't keep I'm it. I'm start to bed now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this is the brooch. It's obviously got the Givenchy insignia logo. And we're starting this at 60. Obviously this is a high end vintage piece. Um, and this designer, you know, has pieces that only go up in value. So that's what we're starting it at today. 70 people in the chat. Please give oh, a thumbs yeah. up if you can. Yeah. Um, treasures in at 60 first. Field. Treasures in at 60. Thank you. I'm going to let Don call it. See, it's so dangerous because I start I talking. Think what I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to do it, right? I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Um, because of the delay, do we have, um, there's two people that bid 60. Do we have 65? This is silver and gold, by the way. I can see my resting face from the side. That's really. Your resting face? Your resting bee face? <laughs> no, you can't have a resting bee face. <laughs> Glare off of that. This is beautiful. And Dawn, you're right. I think it would look amazing on a collar necklace. Um, or right, I often. Yeah, what is it? There. Sometimes I wear brooches as if they were a necklace, right at my collarbone. And yeah, oh, this is pretty. Oh, yeah, that's super pretty. That's super that's pretty. Super okay, treasures. Okay, I'm gonna try not to talk too much. This for this part. No, I want to say all. thank you for the for the info on the delay. It's an 18 second delay. So it's thank an 18 you. second delay. Yeah. So yeah. here's the um, here's the back, by the way. Oh, it's perfect. The, the logo. It's in beautiful it's condition. I know. I love these vintage pieces that are actually new. In fact, I have um, some Napier things that are on card, <laughs> and that just amazes me. Hi, JP. We're bidding on the. Givenchy brooch that I'm holding. You didn't miss much. Whoa. Okay. Don, let me know if you need me to call this for any reason. <laughs> okay. Hey, Carla's in the house. Carla's Hi. in the house. Please hide my resting bee face from the side. <laughs> 74 people in the house. Oh, and only 22 thumbs up. Oh, they did. What is up with that? But let's get, yes, if you could give a thumbs up, awesome. But something tells me you're going to be here for a while. Okay. No, but just do it now. Just get it over with. We're doing it. It's engagement. It's good to be engaged. Hi, Baruch. Good song. Hi. Okay. So, oh, I lost track. Okay. Barbara's in it. Okay. Should I say going once? Oh, I can do that without typing. If we don't have a have a hundred, I think we're well. Sorry, if we don't have ninety five, then we can start calling it. And I can't do it without without typing because it's the delay. So I'm going to say going once here. Okay, going once. Going once. <laughs> <laughs> we're learning. We're learning. We're good. Going twice. And we're not drunk on bubbles. Just bubbles. Just we're drunk on bubbles. That's the name of our channel. Drunk oh, on baubles. Oh, guys, what do you think of that? Drunk on baubles. Not Thank bubbles. you, Sarah. Yeah. Okay, so there's just one thing. Okay, so I think it goes to Barbara. Going twice. Thank you, Barbara. And that's for, let me see, Barbara's mm -hmm. at Okay. Sold. Wonderful. Sold. How is this? We can talk to each other instead of me trying to type back, and I can't type or spell when I try and do it fast. I know, usually we text each other and then every time something is sold, it's like, ding, but we don't have to do that anymore. Unless you want me to say it. Okay, Dang. so is it my I turn? Agree. So now it's your turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know, like I've never done this before. Um, it's scary. There's two computers. You do this all the time. I do it all the time. It's not different. It's not different. Okay, yeah. so I'm not going to look at that, that other computer now. So this is gorgeous, 1980s, faux Roman coin motif, faux lava stone. It's just black matte. 
um, probably ceramic, the little faux ruby. Not named, but perfect condition. Um, love the Rolo chain on this. And it does come off the Rolo chain. So it's like a twofer. And I'm starting at a 45. And, and StreamYard's different. So there it is right there. Beautiful. $45 starting bid. What's the um the pendant made of? What's that center stone? It's like a ceramic. Ceramic. That's yeah. It's, I mean, it's not like a matte. It's not resin. It's a nice matte black, like imitating lava, you know, carved yes. lava. Very 80s, but still totally wearable. It's got the little faux ruby cab. That's what it looks like in the back. Super nice. And... There's the clasp. The roller's good. Oh, I'm like ship, ship, sea logged or something. So, <laughs> sea legs. So, there it is. Um, and, uh, oh, you guys are doing it. Okay. So, so I don't know what to do now. Oh, okay. Treasure wants to know Cameo. It's not in Taglio. It's a cameo. It's raised. See? See, it's really nice. Look at it. It's it's like after a good Roman, you know, even the nose is right. It's a nice one. It's really nice. It's really heavy. It's we really good. We it's, I love that it's for 50. I love uh, that it's black and gold. It's really pretty. That chain is stunning. Yeah, this this the chain itself. Yeah, you know, this looks like it's old, um, like the the signer. You know what I mean? It's very signery, or um, um, it's not Monet. It's better than Monet. I can't think of. Oh, Christian Dior. This is so oh, like the old Christian Dior. Dior. So like that. Yeah. Um, I have some old Christian Dior. Oh, okay. I took them out. You could see that it's similar. It's the same kind of gold, same kind of weight. I I think it's timeless. I mean, when this was- today, 100%. I can't get it in the middle. When, <laughs> I, <laughs> the, this not, program not, that we're using, the software, is backwards from what YouTube is, so that's why. Yeah. So I should have- when, when they did this, it I was originally- to do that. Bugare. It was, you know, it was a take in the 80s on Bugare. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, that's on the YouTube. Bugare. Bugare. <laughs> forever. Okay. Do so, you want to go to 50? We have 45. Or is there anything? Um, Treasure Fields, who was in first. So now we're looking for 50. It's definitely worth. More than that. I tried to start everything at, you know, under what you could find it at. So there's always the potential to get lucky. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. Um, I do. I love it. I love it too. Yeah. All right. So I think we are at um, 45 with Treasure Fields. Okay. And I was waiting. Uh, I was waiting to see if we were going to 50. I may have to say going once. Okay, I'm putting it back over there. Oh, I can show you the back like this. That would be smart. Oh, okay. Is that new? I can't. It's so hard. How long is the Rolo link chain? Oh, oh, that's a good question because I didn't bring my thing. Um, I love like 18 or 21 from here. Year. I think it's like a 20. It's 20. Do well, you mind if I... Um, if I go grab my tape measure, because I'm going to need that. Not. Go grab it. All right. I wish I could give you mine. <laughs> Which is really Mark's. Um, everyone. You're so sweet, Lizzie. Thank you. Um, I did get a comment that Dawn should have the full screen. I don't know how to do that, Paula, on the software, because I am just learning. But I will learn how to do that, and we'll do that for the next time. And um, as Dawn gets her measuring tape, which might be her fiance's, I don't know. Mine is my fiance, and he's addicted to this thing. But I stole it. 
So oh, eight, okay. what, what, Don? 18 inches. 18 inches, okay. 18 inch go. thick Rolo, not adjustable, old lobster claw, so really nice gonna... plating. I'm gonna learn how to work this camera, I swear, there. So we're going twice. Treasure Fields. <laughs> you guys, it's the first time. 45. I feel like we're gonna get lucky because <laughs> we don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> <laughs> If they have a good eye, you guys have a good eye, and you can know what it is, even though we're not showing it at the exact right perfect angle, you're going to do really well. We're waiting to see what else we have is what it is. This is the test. Yes. Okay. So now we have Ding. to treasure fields yes. for 45. Whoa. I better put it, put it here. Okay. Now, this piece I love. This is a one of a kind from the 1980s. And this is sterling. It's made from a 1940s pin. One of the old, um, you know, like uh, Carl Art or one of those, you know, you recognize these pins. And they wire wrapped around the frame and then they put in some accent crystals. This is so boutique, like 80s boutique. And then this is a little sterling dragonfly. And it's on a gorgeous sterling chain. Um, and then the chain was attached to these little crystals, also wire wrapped with this um, magnetic barrel. So that this is- heavy. That looks like it a- is is that so yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, the chain, I'm starting this at 65. And I feel like for this old, nice sterling chain, you could pay $60. That's a really pretty chain. Yeah. I like it's that it's all, chain. it looks- And it comes, off, it comes off the chain, but it's a lovely, it's a lovely pendant, you know? And, you know, it is very recognizable as 1980s because it's that kind of crafted thing that everybody was doing. Yeah. But it's also, I think really now, you know what I mean? Like it's so it's just pretty. It's feminine. It's got its little dragonfly. You know? I think a lot of the pieces that we picked, we picked because they're they're 80s, but they're now too, right? That's how I kind of went through the jewelry. Like, would I wear this now? Would I go out to dinner in this necklace? Would I wear these earrings on vacation? You know. That informs how I collect. And I really am a collector first. See the little crystals? Can you put it a little closer? Yeah, I see them now. That's very see, There's like little uh, Austrian crystals and they're wire wrapped in. And then there's, see, there's an old sterling hallmark. I see the signature in the back. And then it's on the chain. Marzani, you're right. It is very feminine, very pretty. Yeah. Oh, um, I should have started this thing. All right. <laughs> it's okay. So basically, we have a starting bid. We're looking for um, we're looking for a starting bid of sixty five, and Alyssa yep. is obsessed with the lion earrings. You're obsessed with all my jewelry, and thank you for that <laughs> compliment. She said we both look great. My stepdaughter's in the chat. Um, oh, that's cool. I'm awesome. Awesome. Treasure thank oh, you. Sure. Treasure Fields in at sixty five, so we're looking for seventy. See, I'm learning. That's not awkward. <laughs> you know what? Awkward is okay too. It's not awkward at all. No. No. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good fun. Okay, that's the back. Please feel free to give us direction. Because if you're my mother, I don't take direction from my mom anymore. <laughs> Right. Just well, I'll take direction from your mom. If oh she wants God. to tell me like that I need to go closer or farther or whatever. So anyway, I love, I, this is another really pretty piece. You'll never see another one like this. This is a one of a kind vintage made from old 1940s. You know, there was a lot of like 40s redo in the 80s. So it's kind of like that, but it's also that like artsy craftsy thing. 
the little dragonfly is so like 1980s bead store, but it does not offend me. I love it. I, I think love it. It's like hanging to the flower. No, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's again, nothing wrong. Look at it. Look at the size of it. I like it shorter too. I like it on that chain, but I would also wear it shorter as well. Yeah, no, it's really pretty on the chain because the chain has sparkle. The rings in the chain it does. are really sparkly, which is nice. Very pretty. All right. Yeah. We are looking for 70. Right now, Treasure Fields is at 65 going once. Okay. I'm going to put it over there. And then one more, right? I'm sorry? One more. One more. That's right. Okay. This is an easy one. Oh, this is old Perry Ellis. Doesn't get more 80s than Perry Ellis. <laughs> Perry Ellis was really great. Perry Ellis is one of the, I mean, it was really a great designer and one of the first people to do licensing and stuff. This is really nice. This is like Monet quality, curb link, you know, silver tone or white gold tone. It has the Perry Ellis thing. And I'm going to start it. It says 35. I'm going to start it at 30. And this could almost be a belt, but it's great. It's a curb link. You know, Perry Ellis is one of the first people that, um, got caught when we didn't know what uh, AIDS was. Oh. Right? So, you know, otherwise, who knows what what he could have done, right? But little, you know, really That's nice. Cool. Yeah, Don, it's cool. Can you guys have lariat style too? Is, am I seeing that right? Can you also link it in and make it a lariat? Oh, so anywhere. Down? Yeah, I mean, it could even be a belt. See, look at that. That's cool. I like that look too. See, there's like Beautiful. that. Yep. So, I mean, I feel like it's a good basic and it's really well made. You can't get anything like this new now, you know, with this kind of flattened curb. Very why I, like I like it just like that. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. Cool. That's awesome. This is neat. This so reminds me of something you had the other day that you decided you were going to keep midway through. <laughs> to keep everything um, for those who might want to wear it as a belt how long is it uh okay i have to step away from the camera sorry oh, okay. i thought you were your, your measuring it's because the measuring tape the only one i could find that was closest is like broken so i had to lay it out on the table oh all right sorry about that i'm just thinking if it were me and i want to wear a belt i want to know how many inches so i know if it could go around the waist so it is from last link to last link. Uh, and mom, I was just kidding. I'll take direction from you. I will. Somehow a mom always um, can mother, right? No matter how old you are. I always tell my mom, you know, I'm 51. And she says, you've been telling me you're eight. Since you're like 13. Mom, I'm 13. I know what I'm doing. 17, 18. It's 18 inches doubled. So twice 18 inches. 36. So yeah. 36. So basically 36 inch waist or less. Yeah. But Which I is like probably a size, I would say eight or less, maybe 10. Yeah. <laughs> Me going, where is it? Um, all right. But look, we love working with it. Okay, so let's. So is that it? Is at thirty, and oh, cool. we're looking for thirty-two. Did you flip the um, timer, or no? I didn't. Well, that was only that. This is good. I use this just to see first bid. Okay. And then, but you know what? We can do it now. Ashar says it is buffering intermittently, and when we both talk at the same time, the audio gets garbled. Okay. okay, so we'll try not to talk at the same time and maybe we can move our electronics um, if possible to away from the screen. But thank you, Ashara. Okay, so going once. See the flattened. Oh, Martha's at 32. Okay, Dawn is blurring. Going it once. Is. Now we're looking for 32. Martha's in at 32. We're looking for 34. I love that. I would wear it as a belt or a necklace. And I liked how you wore it as a necklace up here. Yeah. So cool. It's a good, it's good layering. Oh, I know why it blurs when you move fast. Oh. 
it blurs. So yeah, I like that. I like that you can just really layer. I'm, I'm a, if you don't know by now, I live to layer chains and crystals and pearls and pins. Well, that's the I, way, right? That's the Chanel way, isn't it? With all yeah. the chains and pearls. Yeah. I, I feel like I'll be doing it when I'm 90. <laughs> and then, okay, now I'm going to do something cool. Show us. Creative. See, I feel like there. Look at that. I like that too. And this is great because it has like the drop. I mean, this is, this beats, this is much more rare than the Monet, you know, and it's a really great uh, flat link. I like it. I think it's great. Okay. All right. I think we're going once with Martha Ortiz at 32. Okay. And JP says we're stuck. So anyone in the chat, oh, Kristen says not stuck. Okay. All right. So going twice to Martha at 32. Tammy's at 34. All right. Now we're looking for 36. Hi, Martha, Tammy. No, you want to go to 36. So the thing, the thing that I actually cut myself off, I edited myself because... I am very loyal to Monet and the Monet curb link chains. I really am. But I feel like once you do this and you close it, just everything's backwards. There it is. If you close it, if you close it just, you know, as if it was like a Monet that you were doubling, you know what I mean? Like you just close it kind of like at the end. I feel like it suddenly becomes something so cool and so much kind of nicer than just the regular, you know, kind of Monet, Trafari, Napier curbs because, you know, it has that like extra, that I mean, so look, it looks expensive. It looks expensive, you know, and it's really well made. I mean, and it was good at the time. Perry Ellis was like, you know, good. And when you feel it, you'll be happy. Here, let me show you the, the weight of it. That's a nice heavy chain. Yeah, it's good. All right. Martha's out and Jane is at 36. Okay. So I think we're going to say going once. I just and realized you're not typing. What's that? I just realized you're not typing at all. I'm going to try that. Oh, uh, because you have the stream yard, so you can see it on your screen. Yeah. That's why. Okay. All right. Going twice. And we are sold to Jane at 36. Yeah. I'm tracking this, by the way. Okay. All right. I'm up. Yes. And... This is future vintage, as you always say, a Joan Rivers bumblebee brooch with a pearl. I won't call it a jelly belly because it's really not a jelly belly, but it, it is a pearl right here. And mm -hmm. we're doing starting bid at 30. This is a gold tone brooch. I will show it on me for scale. Mom, I think you, I think you have this too. And I'm, going, I'm going back to the chat, just so you know. Yeah, no worries. It's really lagging. Anne says you have 36. I think I, yes, I think I did say 36, it went 36 to Jane. So I, I know I love, um, I love Joan Rivers too. So this is imperfect, beautiful. Okay, so Kristen is in for 30. Kristen. Hi, Kristen. So many, many of us on here have our own channels. Kristen is one of them, and she is awesome. For those of you who are not following her, you should. She does jewelry, bags, and shoes. <laughs> she does jewelry, bags, and shoes. And she gave um, John and I a really nice shout out the other day and, and promo for this. And I thank her for that. We thank her for that. Joan Rivers is awesome. Adrian, yeah. What are you wearing on your hand? No, the that other one. hand. Oh, 
<laughs> it's not in the auction. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> I guess it could be. It's pretty, right? Yeah. All right. So starting bid is um, is thirty for this. And Tammy, that was a very good decision not to text and drive. <laughs> Kristen does have the coolest nails. Kristen, you're awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm following on your reseller journey as well. And um, and I love watching so many of you on here. I saw Doug in the chat before. Doug has a great channel. And I will call out some of the others as I see them. Do we have 32? We have, we have 32 from Tammy. We do? Oh, yep, there it is right there. This is a very sparkly brooch. And as you guys know, most of you probably saw my InStyle Magazine um, <laughs> video. <laughs> this bee is buzzing all over the place. Uh, I'm, I'm in the chat now. They're making me giggle. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so okay. that's the, the maker's mark on the Joan Rivers piece. But you can see it's in perfect condition. But in InStyle Magazine and also in the New York Times, <laughs> style section they were talking about brooches being huge this year and in InStyle they basically called out the sparkly ones and we have, uh, and so we have Kristen at 34 I'm trying to stop you so we don't over talk each other oh okay so Kristen's at 34 are Thank the eyes rhinestones or painted the eyes are rhinestones and they're green that's Joan that's totally Joan isn't that cool when she made these, you could actually order if you wanted red eyes or green eyes or clear eyes. Like she made all these different versions. Like she would come out with the pearl one with different right. eyes. She'd come out with like an enamel one that was like an Easter egg with different eyes. Like she's amazing stuff. Yeah. And then, and then as I was looking for stuff to pull for the auction and I have something coming up um, this, this um, round, a lot of interchangeable elements in the 80s, I feel yeah. like. And I have a necklace coming up by Nolan Miller with interchangeable parts. And I know Joan did a lot of that as well. Yeah, we are at 36. JP, can we talk? You can type. <laughs> we will Kristen's definitely. 30, oh, Kristen's at 38. Can you flip it up? You mean backwards? Like that? Oh, so pointing up. Pointing, See? Oh, pointing up like that? Yes. And now show us the back. Okay. No, I'm doing Joan. Yes, we know. <laughs> Can, we Can we talk? You know, I almost met her. I really? almost met her. Yeah, and I didn't. My neighbor did. <laughs> Tell us what happened. It was a fundraising thing at a, a, a restaurant in New York. And... Um, I like, I, you know, I thought she wasn't going to show up and, and she showed up like after everyone was leaving or something. So I took the leftover ice cream. So I had to leave because it was going to melt. <laughs> so yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. I'm mm -hmm. not sure what you mean. I'm sorry. Head up. Head up. Okay. There. That's head up. Yeah. That oh, head up. I thought I had it like that. <laughs> Maybe you didn't. I know what she wants. She wants you to do this. Show it from the side, like the profile. There you go. There's his little face. He's cute. <laughs> Kristen, you collect, um, don't you collect little critters? There you go. This is little faces, little eyes. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Kristen's okay, at 38. 38. See, you can see stuff before me because I'm, I'm in the lab. Yeah. So I'm not totally incompetent either. So you aren't incompetent at all. Oh. all right. I don't think we have um, we have forty. Should I say going once? Going Let's twice? say going once. Going once. Kristen, I wrote to you this week. The person oh. who did on the lion last week, Kathy uh, met Joan. What's that? Kathy met Joan in oh, Toronto. Kathy met Joan in Toronto. She was a force. Kristen oh. should have him. Kristen, um, write to me if you see my email and let me know if you want the lion as well because the person didn't um, collect it from the last auction. No, so, Tammy did 40. T 
Tammy's at 40. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Tammy. Tammy. I only said going twice. So I'm going to put that in the chat now. It's a great piece. It's really sweet. It's also lucky. Isn't it lucky to wear a bumblebee? Oh, I don't know. I know they're really collectible and yeah. they're only going to get more collectible. So if you love them, they're good. You know, they're, you can, they're good to have. They're only going to increase in value. Oh, you didn't see my email. I can send it again. I basically said mm -hmm. I would honor your, um, your last bid for the lion brooch because the, the person who outbid you did not collect it. Kristen is out. Okay, so Tammy Dow, 40. Great, thank you. Thank you all for your bids. Kristen, let me know if you want the um, lion. Send me a note. Okay, bees are lucky. I know, I thought so too, Liz. I've never been stung. I don't know. I'm either I'm petrified of bees, which is ridiculous. Because I've never been stung. Yes. So, okay. JPGR has is allergic so she must have been because she knows oh boy yeah that must have been <sighs> not so good okay all right i'm going to uh um, he wants the lion what's that he wants okay. the lion yes I'm the lion. okay Kristen, i'll send you a separate note i'm writing myself a note i'm glad i wanted you to have that um so okay so now i am going to number 12 dawn on the um, okay. um Ooh. I know this is a fun one. And this is a lipstick necklace. So it is gold tone. We are starting it at 50. It is gold tone. I've never seen anything like this. It does not have a maker's mark. It is pretty outrageous, I think, and so unique. It's punk. And it's so punk. Is it punk? It's and, yeah. It's got crystals all around it. The enamel red lipstick, beautiful chain. It's a good chain too. Yeah. It's a nice chain. I, I'm sure it's gold plated and it's so pretty. And I will put it on here. Alyssa, you have a whole, Alyssa has a whole huge She's, like, she's in all caps. She's in all caps. She's in like, all caps. Hi, yeah. JP. I can see you. I can definitely see you. Yeah, we see you, Angela. Um, my, JPGR. My dad was a beast. I know. Hey, Angela, can I say to everyone what it means, JPGR? Tell me yes or no, if I can share or not with the, with the group. Yeah, is that a thumbs up yes? <laughs> I'm waiting for a yes. I see you, JPGR. Sure. Okay. So JPGR is John Paul George and Ringo. Oh, that's so good. That the best. Don't you just love it? I love I it. Love no, it's like the second she told me that, I was like, we are friends. <laughs> that is so cool. I thought it was probably initials of her kids. Right? Oh, it, there are people there. There are people that name their kids John Paul and George, so that did that did happen. Um, <laughs> so this is a starting bid of fifty. I don't see any bids. Oh, and okay. Yeah. I'm pretty, so yeah. So we're looking for fifty. If we don't get any bids, that's okay. I will move on to the next thing. But I love this piece oh. just because I think it's so there unique. It Oops. I only have the one kid starts with a B. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Kristen, you knew what it stood for? That's probably because you know JP from um, from your channel, I guess. Adrian, are you sure you don't want to auction that fabulous ring? Oh, boy. What is the deal with the ring? It's just beautiful. Yeah, it I bought it as a present for myself, and I stuck it on yeah. today because I. Okay, so it not for sale. Day. Not for sale. That's okay. It's all right. I you can always it. change your mind. That's right. I want to keep it, but yeah. but and many of the resellers in the chat, I'm sure, can relate to this. Sometimes we'll wear something a few times and then be willing to give it up. 
I won't do that with any gift I've ever been given. I won't do that with any of my family pieces. What are the stones? I haven't tested the stones yet. Looks um, like it could be one of those like it could be one of those like white topaz sapphire in sterling, or it could just be really good faux, um, or it could be sapphire with crystal. Sometimes they put sapphire with CZ. Um, you would test the metal first, and then. Well, I have a tester. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm not selling it. If I was selling it, I would test it. See I this? I can't sell. This is the one thing I allowed myself to keep from that group. And I know well, you should. You deserve to keep. Um, yeah. You keep what you love. Pandora, sure. hi! Sure. I'm glad you joined. Sure. Pandora's in for fifty. I see Pandora at all of Thelma's auctions. I feel like I need to apologize for my resting face when I turn to the side. <laughs> so we need to get over that. Yeah, we, need to, we all do. You know, we are our own worst critic, right? I always, someone will compliment me and I'm like, oh, I don't know why they think that. Uh, but, you know, we don't see what other people see. It I think you have the nicest voice. I love your voice. I cannot stand, stand, stand the sound of my own voice. I love your voice and you have beautiful skin. And you have eyes. You have those like eyes that change color. Thank you. That's so sweet. <laughs> you, what do you say? You're like, uh, thanks. I'm like, oh, oh, there. oh <laughs> it's nice. It's okay. It it's nice. nice. You can be pretty. Okay. I have resting face. I have resting. Alyssa. Alyssa. Yeah. Alyssa is a um, soon to be actress and looks like a model. <laughs> Just. <laughs> but I love. Okay. You. So uh, should I say going in? I'm going to say going once. You okay? That's fine. I'm not typing it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm saying it. You can say it out loud. And I'll type it. Pandora, I don't think we've um we've worked together before. So just send me. I obviously know you from all of the auctions. I think we're Facebook friends, but definitely send me uh, a note with your info, um, and let me know how to reach you. I would appreciate it. And then I think. Hey. Sold, sold to Pandora. Ajuje, Ajuje Gandu, Pandora. All right, I have one more. Dawn, do you want to call what I show? You know what I have on the list there. What do you think? You're always lucky when you call my stuff. Okay, let's see. You're moving I'm around. She's moving around. I, I'm always willing to move around. Um. Oh, I know what I you mean. love. I love, 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 love the Avon mask. Okay, so, let's do that. Okay. I mean, I think that everyone will be, they'll just like to look at it. Even if they don't want to bid, they can appreciate looking at it. It's a really, like, this is why we watch these videos. I love this set. It's beautiful. I yeah. would not have in a million years guessed this to be Avon. I know. But that's that's the old school Avon, right? It's. I feel uh, like I've seen it in books. Or on it, is book book. Book. it is a book piece. It's on the cover or something. It's like the one on the cover. Oh. I don't know if it's on the cover, but I did some research against this. Um, this is starting bid of 50. It goes with earrings. Oh, and it is a book piece. And we call it a book piece because it's in one of the books about costume jewelry and uh, the books usually show the best of a designer's collection. So many of us have the Monet book, which I highly recommend if you're getting started in collecting jewelry. And I think I heard I heard about it from Dawn initially and bought it. I do have a lot of it now. Um, Baruch is in for fifty-five, not five hundred fifty-five. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> she was in for five hundred and fifty-five. I would call yeah. it a night. We'd be like, okay, you get everything in the box. <laughs> okay, yeah, 55, haha, -ha, sorry. No. So yeah, so I have a Hattie Carnegie book, a Monet book. A oh my God. Yeah. Okay, this is a total curveball. Oh, <gasps> uh, is there gonna be a quiz? So good. No, I just got a book today that I've been wanting for 10 years or eight years or something. It was a present. Real? Which one? Calder jewelry. And oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Okay. I, I oh, that looks lovely. Okay. This is great. 
This is really, really this great. Is this is 5,555. Now, guys. Now, I can start drinking wine now. Yeah, we're we're done. Dawn's going to take you're over. Right. I'm going out with my husband. You know what they're doing? They're like, well, since it's their first night, we'll just make it really hard. <laughs> That's all right. You can haze us. We love you. Okay. Oh. So, I, so Veruca, do, okay. Treasure is in for 60. Awesome. It's, it's yeah. a great piece. JP says, out, out. Okay. So, JP, JP not 5,555. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> This is really cool. Don, I know you love the mask. Oh, what's that? This was a week that my mom gave me that are like are like that swirl. I think I wore it in the promo. Okay, this is a calder. It's worth about five hundred thousand dollars. Well, it's not that. My mom bought <laughs> it in the jewelry store in the nineteen eighties. It's true. But that's amazing. Is that solid gold? Yeah, uh, no, it's probably wire. He, he used silver wire, but he was a sculptor, so his things were like houses. But see this this book, I have literally wanted my whole life, like since it came out, and I've never spent the money. I've never ever been able to buy it. I look once in a while. I never see them for less than five hundred. It arrived today as a present for me. That's so nice. Yeah, and it's a paperback, which I didn't even know there was. It's not really paperback. It's like soft cover. So, but anyway. It's exciting. You see Elizabeth Taylor, my life in jewelry book. Oh, treasures at 70. Thank you guys. They're kind of running it themselves. You know what I just realized? We okay. had group. They know what they know what they're doing, Don. <laughs> They've we been have watching for years. We're just starting. And they're so nice. We I've never had to moderate anybody. It's I know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Except that one time, <laughs> which we won't talk about. What is it? Yeah, that, one that beautiful book, vintage, um, vintage jewelry galore. Wants to know what is it? I think she means the designer. Hi, hey. my pink bag. My pink bag also has a great channel. She's got a beautiful collection, and you guys should check her out. Oh, I can see how blurry I am. I got the Liz Taylor book as a gift. I feel like I bought it for my mom many years ago, or maybe she just has it. But it is a wonderful book about all of Elizabeth Taylor's jewelry pieces, many of the pieces that were gifted to her from Richard Burton and her many boyfriends, lovers, and husbands, and the stories behind them. Like I, I remember one of the rings was from Richard Burton, and she called it the ping pong ring. And it was two little baby diamonds and they had a big love of ping pong and she um, she played a game with him and she said, if I win, you have to buy me a piece of jewelry. So they went to a local jewelry store and he basically bought her the tiniest diamonds he could find. <laughs> she had the skating ring of a diamond. That's great. That's a nice relationship, actually. I like that. Yeah. So we're at 85 looking for 90. Don, they want to know what the name of the book is. Oh, it's called Calder Jewelry. Calder Jewelry. I feel like someone just Googled the Avon. But this literally, I mean, I've been every once in a while I check to see if I can get lucky. And I've never gotten it. I've never gotten lucky. I'm glad you got it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to study it. I'm going to read every word. <laughs> So you're going to be unavailable tomorrow. <laughs> like, don't read your book. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. Oh. People probably Google this. I feel like um, I saw it on first dibs or one of those, you know, it makes very familiar. Yeah. I think it's been on something recently. Like it's been on like in the cover of an email or yeah. a magazine or, you know, it's like very recognizable. It's the best. If it's I go like this, it looks like, the mask is winking to oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> or, oh, yeah. or I'm drunk on club soda. Club soda. Right. Okay. So I'm going to, I feel like let's call it. Do it. Okay. Sold. <laughs> Sold to, was that my pink bag? Uh oh. Yes. Yes. 85. AKA. Okay. My pink bag, we haven't worked together, so just send me an email, okay? Adrian Gale at hotmail.com, and it is in the about section of my. Yes. 
And it is now. You will enjoy. Turn, my love. Okay. Your turn. Oh, and guess what? I, I realized why I was blurry. Why? Because, oh, no, that doesn't make sense. I was going to say because my other computer wasn't plugged in, but I'm on this one. <laughs> Drunk on bobbles. <laughs> Drunk on bobbles. Thumbs up if you think that's a good name for the new channel. We're going to make a channel together. Tell us if you like Drunk on Bobbles or feel free to comment and let us know. Um, for those in the replay, let us know what you think a good name for the channel will be. I kind of like Drunk on Bobbles. I think it's hysterical. I like it too. Okay, so it's my turn? Yeah. Okay. So we are doing this. Oh, no, it's this necklace. Mother of Pearl with the sterling overlay. This is, I've had this piece since the 1980s. Here it is. Maybe 90s. It might have been 90s. I was young. It's a real piece of Mother of Pearl. Pretty. Yeah, it's just a nice little thing. And that's a sterling overlay, right? It's a little heart and it's kind of like a filigree. It's kind of wings. And I have it on this stainless steel chain, chain that I always like to hang things from the lobster. because I think they look cool that way. It's very nice. It's a nice little necklace. I had this starting at 30. I'm going to start it at 20 if anybody wants it. And I'm going to put this here like that. Can you put that up again? It looks like wings to me, like angel wings. It's a little winged looking. Yeah. Here, I'll use the pink one. People love the name Drunk on Bobbles. Oh, I right. Like it too. Oh, Bobbles and Bubbles. We should have a poll. We could have a poll. What do you think about doing a contest? And actually, Doug gave me this idea for giveaways to fill a champagne flute with jewelry. What if we run a contest to see who names our channel and the name that we pick gets a flute full of baubles? I love that idea. Thumbs up if you like that idea. Thumbs up if you like that idea, guys. Oh, you know what? Send, okay, send happy faces. Everybody send a happy face or something, a flower, whatever, in the chat if you like that idea of the giveaway to name the channel. The giveaway to name uh, the channel. It would be cute to incorporate your names together. All right, Princess Casserole's already putting an idea in the chat. I like that. Ooh. Right, here's my helper. Here he is. Where's your big hair? That, this is my big hair. Okay. Looks kind of easy. Say hi to everybody. Pop in. Hey. Duck hey. your head down. So Mark did our, our visual <laughs> promo, our ad. He's an art director. So if you like that, that was his creation. Isn't this cool? It is cool. I like this new. Okay. So that's, oh, this is, go oh, no, this is still going. Okay. So I don't know. So anyway, I started it at 20. Is that a bong, Don? <laughs> no. <this> is <laughs> hey. We're going to get raided. This is right. um, I'm gonna get out of here. Love you. <laughs> it's oh, just looking good and text her back. Yeah. It's one of these like <laughs> hourglass timer things. So okay. All right, so now it's on that. Moving on. <laughs> oh wait, no, wait for now. We had a bin. We're not moving on. Oh hold on. Wait, okay. I saw a bid for that. Oh my I he distracted me. I, okay. I, oh, I was way lagging. I'm way, way lagging. Hold on. I apologize. I should have been paying attention. You see, he still gives me butterflies. Tammy's at 20. Tammy's okay. at 20. So we did have a bid. Is anyone coming okay. in at 22? Or we are. Tammy, Tammy, is it Tammy down? Tammy down? Yeah. Okay. It's yours, Tammy. 20 bucks. All right. First she's calling it. Yeah, yeah, because you're here for our inaugural thing, and it's you know, <laughs> she's, 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 you know, she's, well, these I really, really love. These are so nice. These are very '80s, but they're also timeless. They are a really nice version. Everybody knows those X earrings, the sterling ones, but these are really nice. These are like super smooth and thin. They're like, they have kind of like a, like a, I want to say like a gracefulness to them. They're not like chunky. They're not like the clunky ones, you know, like some of them from Mexico are too clunky. 
And these have no markings at all, except for a little tiny 925 on the post. But they're obviously old sterling. Here, I'm just gonna, Ready? I'm not gonna look because that throws me off. But see how nice they are? And they're just like really smooth. They're really well done. They're like glossy. It's like glossy silver. I mean, Dare I say, and I, I apologize to the Tiffany fans. I actually like that version better than Tiffany's. Yeah. It's oh, me too. Kind of cooler, you know. Look at them. They're they're kind of like they have a gestural feeling. So anyway, so these are starting at forty. Okay. Nice sterling. They're beautiful. Yeah. Very, like very them. pretty. Don, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I know I'm not going to put up all of these comments because I don't want to interfere with the jewelry. But you know what? I'm going to put the bids up in the screen. Oh, yeah. That's what I've been doing. So, okay. So you, you can see it flash across the screen in the YouTube. Oh, on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because you're this the host. You know. Yeah. Okay. They look so, like Pablo Picasso. They really do. They do. Well, that was, you know, that's the thing. That's the 80s thing is that everybody kind of had a version of this. Um, but I like these. They're also like they're almost like Asian looking. Like they're not knockoffs. You know what I mean? They're not supposed to be fake Tiffany. They're more like, to me, these look modernist. They're like modernist exes. Um, I really expected... Thank you, Tammy. Hey, it that's works. what I'm going to do. I think that's the best. I really expected to see almost like a modernist signature because, you know, I learned much later about things. So when I was going through my stuff, I picked these up and I was like, oh, I remember this. And then I was like, let me check for a signature because, you know, the things you didn't know then. See, they're, they're awesome. modern. They're seriously like modernist. I mean, they're not that like Picasso X squiggle. You know, not that there's anything wrong with that. We love those too. And Peretti, of course, the Elsa Peretti. But um, anyway. the way, I think. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. The great Elsa Peretti. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do I do now? Should I call it? Yeah. If you want to. We're at 40 for me. And oh. we're looking for 42, which I just typed in the chat. So. I don't know if um, if there is any lag, but we are going to start flashing the bids on the screens. So everybody can see it, and we are at going, to do like a going once. Going once. Okay. Going mm -hmm. once at forty to Tammy Dow. Oh look, I did this, so I wouldn't forget where it was. What is that? A pen? <laughs> what? Oh, I love it. Um, going twice to Tammy for 40. Okay. And sold. Okay. And um, what's next? The, uh, oh, the rose quartz. I love this. This, you guys have seen before. I tried to get to it and I couldn't. Look how pretty this is rose cords, beads, cloisonne. The pearls are faux. They are not cultured pearls, um, but it's a really pretty cloisonne. It's really feminine and nice. And we are starting this one at 35, if anyone wants it. The rose cords, beads. There's the barrel clasp. It's on that old kind of red um, wire that they had. And it's a barrel clasp. Pretty. Oops. Yeah. I like it. How long is that? Are you, I don't want you to have to get up. I think that looks 18, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Very pretty. Yes. So we're looking for 35 on this. Yeah. And it is rose quartz and cloisonne. Very yeah. pretty. Yeah. Cloisonne. Oh, let me show it to you. Well, there it is on the neck. See, it has a nice kind of roundness to it because it's on that wire. And the cloisonne beads are pretty. That's really pretty. Nice old, old green. Little peonies. 
Oh, look, the leaves kind of remind me of the X's in the earrings. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. Very and the rose true. quartz is Yeah. Adorable. Like it. It's an adorable. It's adorable. Okay. It's adorable. Now, uh, you just taught me something because I didn't oh, know. Oh, you can take the hand me down. down. What's that? Yeah, oh, I said yeah. you can take that. Oh, Cloisonne goes back. Cloisonne, actually, the big trendy moment for Cloisonne was 70s. It was the 70s, huh? I, I wasn't sure about that. So yeah. now I know. Now we and know. It, never, it never really went away. No, I would still wear it. That's yeah, no. I, yeah. All right. So that's it. So can I do one yes. more? So, um, I don't see a bid for this. The tall bust and neck is better to see, Marzana says. Oh, thank you. All right. I want to do one more. Okay. Because we're going to play. Right. We're going to pass. Yep. Do it. Yeah, we're going to pass because I'm excited to get to these. Okay. Look, you can Google these right now. These are made by Esther and Wilson in the 80s but they're timeless. They're sterling and pearl with little pearl drops. They're little collage elements. These things um, are, they're expensive. If you Google Estrin Wilson, E-S-T-R-I-N Wilson, um, and they're beautiful. I mean, these are lovely. You can just see, you know, like the, the time period. Like I look at these and I just see it so clearly in my head. Are you those I, mean? I didn't hear if, if they're sterling or not sterling. Yeah. Sterling or yeah, yeah look, or sterling. Okay. Look at these hallmarks. These are like, these are, these are very collectible. Um, they go for over a hundred dollars. Oh, I didn't say what you started at. I, I typed it, but it's 45. Okay. I did type yeah. that one. Yeah. But it's just, it cracks me up because I'm looking at it now and I'm looking at this and then I'm looking at this necklace that I used to wear which I can't oh. get into. The Do you know what I mean? Like it's so indicative of a time period. Oh, that's the back of that. That's the pansy. You and the pansies. Yeah. So anyway, so these are great. These are a steal at $45. If you're a reseller. Um, they're all, they're all Googling. I bet. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. what this was. What's in the center? Enamel? No, it's like a collage. It's like... um like a 1920s flapper. You have to Google Wilson, Estrin Wilson. Here, let me take it off so you can see the, the hallmark. Yeah, everyone wants to see the middle, I think. If you could flip it. I have Princess Casserole and Crystal asking about the middle. It's so nice. It's like a bird. Or not really an angel. It's like bird wings. Sorry, I'm learning. How to do the center, right? It's like, is it glass? It's under, I, it's under glass probably, or it could just be resin. It could be um, the little like cameo face. It's like an old flapper, you know, see, it's, it's like a collage element. Like Thomas Mann was using collage elements, right? This is lesser known, Estrin Wilson. Sterling and Pearl. Very pretty. And I have no problem putting these in my shop. Honestly. How much is shipping? So um, Paula, thanks for asking. If you purchase $45 or more, shipping is free. And um, if it is, um, if it is, I think heavier Unless than- you're like out of the country or something. Yeah, like that. So, so these would be free shipping if you're in the US. It's, it looks like a phoenix. Oh, I can't get I can't do it. It's is so it backwards. Is it a woman's face or a man's face? Vintage. No, no. It's like one of those. It's like a flapper girl. You it's know, it's like, yeah. it's like Clara Bow or somebody like that. Martha says, all I can say is that jewelry is the only thing I can still fit in from the 1980s. <laughs> and she. That's and she's cute. Cute. She's and person. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Here, I'm gonna try yeah. and get it closer. I feel like I'm not doing them justice. Do you want to put them on and get close to the screen? No, hell oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, don't know. I can't. There. Get 
Those are cute. All right, so these are beautiful earrings. And um, if John says they are more valuable than the starting bid, I believe her. And we're starting at 45, which is low for this. Oh, I didn't do this again. I, oh, I'm sorry. See, it's going to be too boring. Don't worry. We'll keep it moving. Okay. How All long? Right. How long do you think we've been on so far? Can, can you an hour and a minute? An hour and a minute. <laughs> so, all right. So, what all right. Is, that's, 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 that's fine. That's you guys, if you decide you want it later, I will honor forty-five dollars. Other than that, it's going in the store. Going in the okay. store. Okay. I want to get a refill of this. You want to get a refill? Is that what you said? Okay, go for it. Okay. Um, I am going to do number 26, and I can take care of it while you go do that. Okay. Um, this is a, I'm, I think it's a panther, um, but it could be a jaguar or something else. It is on glass pearls. They're pretty heavy. They are hand knotted. I am starting this at 30, which is a steal. This piece is outrageous. It could be Ken. Elaine, it is not marked. Um, it is on gold tone and it is stunning. And how do I pay Dawn? You um, you email hudsonvintage at me.com and you will uh, make arrangements with Dawn who does um, usually PayPal. So let me tell you how long this is and I'm going to put it on the neck um the mannequin neck whatever you call those things this is a 32 inch and it's double stranded so barbara's in at um treasure fields came in first at 30 so barbara we're looking for 32 thank you for your bid vintage jewelry galore is at 35 yep comes back Look, treasure's in at 40. So let me put this like this. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Oh, it's this one, yeah. There, I know you love this one, right? I knew people would love this. Yeah. I knew people would love this one. So we're at 40, thank you. This is awesome. I would wear this with a white shirt, a black shirt, denim, a dress. This, this goes with everything. I, I mean, this to me really looks like J. Lane, but it would have been marked. So I'm I'm not saying it's unmarked Kenneth J. Lane. And, I think and, the pearls are, and the pearls are glass. They are. Yeah. It's, it's right on the tip of my brain what that is. Yeah, mm. this is a weighty piece. Let's see it on me. It's oh, I love the length of it. Put my <sighs> hair back there. Yeah, okay, give me the banner. What's that? Give take the banner out. There you go. Oh, yeah, hot. Ooh, la, right? la. Love it. Yeah. The white snake video or not? It was a store on Madison Avenue that had all these things like the, like it was um okay, it's right oh, on the tip. Don't you wish we could go back to Madison Avenue and shop a little? Uh, I honestly, I don't know. I tried to do a Google search. It is unmarked and it did not come well, up. Really great. So, different colors. Yeah. Very signer. Very, very signer. Really nice quality. All right. I'm going to get back in the chat. I feel like I'm. Okay. Oh, Treasure Fields at 40. I've been doing it. Oh, yes. Um, this one we have like 40. I close that hand. panther. I went to this insane um, zoo in um, Puerto Vallarta and they allowed you to hold the baby animals and we held a baby panther. It was the cutest thing. Um, and I loved holding it. And then they brought out the baby tiger and lion and I let Mark hold those on his own. I left <laughs> because those little babies are not little. I know this is beautiful. Don, you're frozen. No, no, no. Treasure Fields at 40. We're looking for 42. Don, I 
Uh-oh. Is Dawn frozen for you guys, or is it just me? Let me know, and I will text her and let her know. I know. Ooh la la. It's so beautiful. And we're looking for 42. Can someone let me know if we're still live here? Because Dawn froze. Oh, there she is. There she is. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, it's a solo show now, and I don't have a helper. Okay, we're back. Can you see me? Right. I don't. I don't think we have another bid. Okay. So we're at forty with Treasure Fields, and if we don't get another bid, I'm going to start to call it or Dawn will. Now uh, forty-two. Forty-two. Okay. March. It's a beautiful piece. It's great. I know. I know. Oh, it's really great. I thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you very much. I know that you've been in now already an hour and, a, and almost a half. I'm going to try and move it along. I love that. It's No, it's great. For $42 is great. This is yeah. one of the pieces I... You've got the pave, the pave crystals on the top of the head. It's a cougar. It's a cougar? I feel like it's a cougar. I love it. Yeah, it's very cubist. I'm telling you, it's right on the tip of my brain. I thought it was a panther, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, it okay, it's a panther. It's only because it was mostly black and those panthers yeah. with those eyes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Some of these, some of these um, <laughs> animal pieces, you yeah, just don't know what it is. Okay, so let's go. Going once. Going once. Because we, because we know we're gonna lose. Because people have lives; they're gonna want to eat dinner and do things. What? Everyone had dinner already. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs> I think that's 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 that. Okay, going twice. Yes. Sold. Thank you Mark for your points. I love that piece. I almost didn't put it in because I loved it so right. much. And I'm gonna edit my stuff way down. So unless there's something that you saw in the preview that you really want me to get to, let me know. I'm just going to pick out like the things that I think are like the most cool things. All right. Do I have two more or one more or what am I doing? One, two. Whatever you want. Okay. It's okay. Um, all right. This is number 16. 16. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to start this differently. I'm going to lower the price. Uh, a tad. This is Monet graduated part mm -hmm. necklace. That's so 80s. I know. Uh, it's so Lagerfeld. Like, you know they were influenced by Lager, the, the whole. Oh it's so good. That's I'm like saying... Lagerfeld before Lagerfeld. Before his vanity light. Oh, I love it. Uh-oh. That... Everything with hearts. Both of us. We, we just that's love so... it. Yeah, but that's great. That's so, that is collectible Monet right there. That is collectible. I'm going to start these at 40. <gasps> okay. I'm going to change. 40. The gold is in perfect condition, <laughs> and I will put it on in just a moment. Love that. Yeah, this is great. This is great, okay. guys. It is so pretty. It's a great piece. I love all of the Monet pieces that I have, and I have quite the collection right now. So you can oh. see it for scale. Barbara's in at 40. Thank you. I know that. I know that era. Yeah. I have one with scarabs, and it's one of my favorite things, and I will never sell it. Beautiful. That's good. Yeah. The problem well, is at 44. I was just about to Hi, Thelma. Um, I think the pearl necklace was a snake. Everyone did. So, and I thought it was a jaguar. You thought it was a cougar. And I think it's a panther. And you know what? That's probably exactly why they make them like that. Because everyone has a different perspective. Which means they're buying it for a different reason. Because they like a panther. Or they like a cougar. Or they like something else. So, this is beautiful 80s moment. There's, see, the resale people. Like, that's definitely you know, a double your money kind of thing. That's, it's great. It's one of those things you want to keep for a while and then sell, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a well, really that's, good. That's what I, right. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. You can wear something a couple of times and then 
with our collections, you can say, I want to share it. That's so awesome. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, Thelma's in at 48. Because Thelma knows. Thelma, Thelma knows. I've been watching your videos. Oh, my gosh. Thelma has such a great channel. And she's so positive about every single thing. I love, I love how she goes through the jewelry and finds um, exactly why people love that particular piece. Um, Dawn, did you see she got gifted like 70 pounds I, worth of jewelry? I, I thought, yeah, I saw that. You know, I have a confession to make. I like watching Thomas talks. Ah, <laughs> uh, her heart to hearts. Yes, <laughs> really. Yeah. <laughs> very real she's very real yeah. and it's like a whole movie um Tom is out by the way oh okay so Barbara once thank you all for your bids and 76 are still here I love it Thelma's is laughing and says thank you going twice sold all right, congrats. congrats. A juge to the to our uh to Barbara, a true collector. All right, and I think you will love that. You are going to love it. Your turn, I believe. Oh, okay. I think so. Let's take a look. Let's see what do we got here. The Nobium drop earrings. What was that? Oh, um, you know, everyone loves cats. Oh, the cats. Okay. So then I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to start with these. I think these are great. Oh, the old Anne Klein, right? And I don't think there's any up right now. Like you see them, they, but they're, you know, there's, a, there's the other Anne Klein earrings that aren't as good as this. That just have kind of like the hooks. The hook things, these are genuine, like early 80s. Um, I forget what I was starting these at. Never mind me, something happened in the chat. I'm I will fix that in one sec. Okay. So I'm starting these at 35. And I have seen them on Etsy for 85. Ugh, I'm a mess. What is going on? Hi. Okay, sorry about that. So there they are. They're perfect. Perfect condition. Those are stunning. That's the back. Oh, they're fabulous. They're I the end club, the logo lion. And you know what? I I thought that I would never sell these because I have a, an original uh, navy trench coat from Anne Klein that has the logo in the back in the lining. That is Ooh. this. So I always felt like such a Manhattan, you know, girl with the earrings and the the coat on. But we were talking about it the other day. So I was like, all right, I'll throw it in the auction. But if no one bids, it's okay. <laughs> well, people are bidding. Treasure Fields is at 40. There's a question if um, if they are clip-ons or posts. No, they're post. They're post. They're really good. I and love that motif. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put it on the little clear thing. These are great. These are like the ones you use, you know? The ones you wear. So cool. I just bought a scarf from um, from Thelma, which is the the big lion scarf motif. It's so cool. Oh wow! Is it Anne Klein? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> Does it have navy in it? <laughs> oh no! You can't have it. <laughs> you cannot have it. She's like already planning her outfit with her raincoat. Yeah. Well, I'm going back to New York. So anyway, look, here they are. Here they are. Look. I know. Thelma's at 44. These are fabulous. Fabulous old vintage Anne Klein logo. These are going to get better. These are not yeah. going to get worse. These are going to, uh, I can't do the backwards. I, why am I better on one side than the other? Wait, I just won't look. There. If you don't look, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> We're at 46. We're looking for 48. Wonderful. Those Wonderful. Thelma's out. I think we're moving. We're um, at 46 with Treasure Fields looking for 48. 
These are good. Yeah, these are wonderful. Wonderful. Marvelous. Oh, what we can shut down. We don't have to worry about copyright. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. When do you think, when is Broadway opening back up? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? That would be, yeah, that would be great though. To see a show. Oh, yeah. to see I a show. That. I love Broadway. I want to go. I want music. I want concerts again. That too. That's coming back already. I just heard they're opening Red Rocks in um, in Colorado, that outdoor stadium, and I think people are going to open things up this summer. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, are we're we number forty six? And I don't see any other bids. Yeah. Do you want me to call it? Yeah. Going once. Going twice. And sold to Treasure Fields for 46. Thank you okay. so much. And Thank now I'm going to pick the Sage and Spiral chain. It's just a chain, but it's really good. And this is another one. I have no problem keeping this. I'm starting it at 75. But it's vintage Sage and look, it's a spiral link. Oops, I can't get it. See that spiral link? And it has the uh, lobster claw clasp. It's a lovely weight. It is not, it looks delicate, but it is not. It is sturdy. And you can still put things on it. And if anybody likes the old sage and stuff, if you like those pendants, the sage and pendants, this is the chain to put it on. This is like, you you know, these are so, you don't see these anymore. You know, I don't, I don't know how many they made. Here, I'm going to put. This one, I have to be, um, I have to be a novice for a moment. Is uh, sage and a designer or a type of jewelry? A designer. It's actually it was a couple. I don't think they're together anymore. And they made Sterling. She was a designer and she started having things made in Bali. See, look at it on the. That's pretty. It's pretty. And um, they got really big. I used to see them at the flea market on 66th Street. Seriously, they had a table at the flea market and then they just exploded. Um, but this is. A chain, you know, they were the ones that made all the goddess pendants, you know, mm -hmm. all those, the goddess things. They did a lot of goddess stuff. They did a lot of like spiritual looking things. They did dolphins. They used um, abalone and colored quartz and bone and um, they were groovy, right? They were just, they were really cool. And this is an original chain of theirs. And I want to show you, like, I wonder if I can put. Don, people are asking for length and uh, oh. clarification if it's sterling. Yes, of course it's sterling. And the length is, I'm going to have to leave the shot. Sorry. Oh, no worries. I like that because it's a great everyday piece too. Yeah. You know, you can fall in love with that piece and wear it everywhere, wherever you're going. That looked to me like 18, but Don's going to double check that. It's 17. It's 17? It's 17. It's a weird length. It's not 16 or 18. So it's kind of handcrafted that goes in keeping. I want to show you with this um, with this mother of pearl thing. This is just a regular kind of, it's not really a bale. It's just a jump ring. And I think I can get it through there. The jump ring. Is and when Don good. talks about the flea market in New York, there are a couple of really, really special market um, ones on the west side. I know there was one near 23rd Street and the yes. vendors do a lot of handcrafted items. They sell beautiful vintage pieces, antiques, um, you know, whether it's furniture or houseware things or jewelry, but it was always a really wonderful thing to do in New York. Cause New York is such a great walking city to go through those those markets and and check out what people are selling. Did I ever tell you my Debbie Harry story? No, 
tell us. Perfect for 80s night. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to like show you what it looked like with a pendant on it, but I don't have a pendant that I can put on it. And so anyway, this is very nice. Oh, Marzana. Yeah. You know what you're looking at. Maybe you remember it. See, they, they didn't, it wasn't like a thing that they did. Like they made some chains for their pendants and you know, this was, and it has their spiral, which is so cool. It's, you cool. know, it's yeah, cool. no, it's really cool. And it's not light. It's not a light chain. Like it's not, it's a nice chain. Um, let's see. Maybe I could take, I'll take the, the pansy. No, I don't have anything with a real bale. I just have these. Bail, right? Yeah. I need something with a bale. I don't have anything with a bale. I just have things with jump rings here. So we have a bit of 75. We're looking for 80 on this. Look, it's actually working. <laughs> it looks good. That's the uh, the back side. Wait, hold on. I like the um, the neck in red. Things are really popping on there. Oh, good. 72 in the chat. Thanks for coming, you guys. And when's our next one? I, I think we uh, are TBD, but it, you should definitely check both of our channels and we will be sure to let you know once we set the next date. Our intention is once a month. We're going to be doing it once a month. We're going to have girls night in once a month. And then I have my auction and another auction once a month, which is second Sunday in the afternoon. And so that next one is May 9th, I believe for Dawn. Yes, Mother's Day. Right. Sunday, Mother's Day. So anyway, this is great. Someone's going to love it. Uh, so it is in at 75. And do you want to start calling it? Yeah. Let's do it. Enjoy. Okay. All right, so going once at 75. <laughs> She's seeing her picture. Yeah, going twice. Marzana. Oh, let me write it down. Marzana. That's so funny. funny. That's funny. Marzana, email me, hudsonvintageatme.com. And I have her stuff too um, because she joined us last time through Kristen. What ah. will you show next? Okay, so uh, let's see. There's one. I want to. I get one more for this this session, right? Uh, yep. I'm going to show it. It's kind of expensive for the auction, but it's worth so much more. Um, this is number eighteen, and this is a Santa Fe Sterling pin. It's designed. It's um, it was made by Aaron Martinez, so it's authentic. Um, it's a little thing. the The big ones. Look at the look at the stone. It's um. It's turquoise. It's coming. It looks green, but it's actually a beautiful blue. See that? This is authentic. Authentic. Let me show you the sterling. I, I mean, not the sterling. The the, the markings. It's a pin or a pendant. I am starting it at 120. Starting at 20. Okay. And this is the only small piece. Like Google it right now, and you'll see these big bracelets and things, and they're thousands of dollars, thousands. But this is like a little one, and so I think 120 is fair. Yay! She got it! Hooray! Yay! It's working. That's working. That means it's working. I'm gonna move this. Oh no! I'm gonna I'm gonna start it actually. So you guys have two minutes to decide if you think this is worth at least 120 dollars if you love it. Um, I know that it is. I'm trying to get, oh, I know. I will open the pin. There we are. Now you'll, now you'll be able to see it. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. We have a request for your Debbie Harry story. This is, this is how all of our conversations go. We're like, <laughs> and then we forget where, where okay. we're, I was in Chelsea. I was in Chelsea and, you know, I don't know. It must have been a flea market day because I don't know how often I was there without the flea market, but um, maybe not. And, you know, there was all those little shops. There was like little antique stores and there was a vintage store very near there. 
that I was in, you know, I would go in occasionally. I was, you know, it wasn't like my first time in. And so I was like chatting with the, um, the owner and then her friend was like behind a bunch of stuff behind the counter and it was Debbie Harry hanging out behind the counter. And I was looking at a coat. I was looking at um, a Persian wool. Uh, you, you know that curly lamb fur coats from the 1940s? Yeah. I was looking at one of those and it had the big bell sleeves with like the elastic on the inside. And it was, oh, uh, like hundreds of dollars, which for me at the time, I was like, that was a big decision. Yeah, sure. And they literally, because Debbie Harry told me to buy it, <laughs> it was like, you should buy that. It's great. Just buy it. And so I bought it and then it fell apart a little bit every time I wore it. Oh, no. Yeah. It was the coat of glass. <laughs> The coat of glass, right? Not the heart oh, of glass, the coat of glass. This is actually, you know what's interesting is that it looks to me like this is it goes this way, but the pin and the signature are actually here. See, the pin is, and so I feel like you can hang something from it. See, it's right side up like that. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. you could put like a pendant with a um like yeah. a lobster so it, becomes, it becomes an element. Mm. You know what I mean? You could add chain to it and then hook the chain through. It could be a shortener. It could be a glasses holder. This is sterling. This is super high end. This is like the most high end thing that I have today, I think. I started it at 120. This is Santa Fe Sterling by Aaron Martinez, um, Native American represented from Santa Fe. This is the authentic, real, see? See, it says Santa Fe. See, can you That's see the cool. sterling? Can you see the sterling or am I fuzzy? I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. And then it has all these stampings, these Native American. See? It's an expensive piece. Those those Native American pieces are, you know, they, they hold their value and they yeah. go up. Google, and if you Google Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, Martinez, Santa Fe, you will see nothing but things with four numbers. There will be nothing except things with four, you know, 1,000, whatever. They're also big. This is a little yeah. one. So I guess we don't have any bids. We do not. Okay, moving on. But we liked your Debbie Harry story, and we like cool. seeing that piece. And I think even, um, even if we don't get a bid on one of your pieces, it's good for us to learn from yeah. you. Because I loved it. I, I didn't know anything about that. So, you know, yeah. we, we learn. Right? Oh, no, it's totally fine. I mean, it's totally fine. So, oh, look. All right. I'm going to, what should I do, Dawn? Do you have an idea? It's um, okay. It's hard at the end because I, I feel like I don't know what I want to bring to the auction. Because what I is the thing? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I know what I'm bringing. I know what I'm bringing. This is awesome. Okay, this is also Joan Rivers. I happen to have a couple of her pieces here tonight. This looks brand spanking new. And I did my research on this one, so I know what you're for. I know this that. Is this is um, an interlocked gold plated brooch and earrings. I'm starting this at 80 because I, I do know it's worth more. Um, what number? I'll put it in this, Oh, sorry. This is number 24. And let me show you how this goes. I know, right? I know. People are to, to learn from, from Dawn. So basically, this brooch opens up. The earrings open. I'm still getting used to this. I've never seen anything like this until now. Um, uh, I and tell you about it. You have, I'm sure, right? Can I tell you about it? Yes, do it. Okay. So Joan Rivers went and searched all. Uh, she had her and um, her team would try and find vintage pieces that they could recreate. This is a recreation of a Coro duet. The Coro duets were originally fur clips that went inside a frame. So you could wear them as a brooch or as two separate fur clips. She updated, this is very much like the way the original Coro duet worked or looked, 
but it's with earrings instead of fur clips. So she actually updated it. That's what it looks like. So it can be worn as a pin or as earrings. And it's a take on Coro from the 1940s. And she redid it. Um, and this is a very early piece. She started pretty much out of her mother's jewelry box. She was remaking things from her mother's jewelry box. That's actually where the Joan Rivers um, B thing came from. It was her husband gave it to her and then she had one from her mother. So it was very personal, but a lot of what she did was older jewelry that she remade. And this was off of an original Coro design and it's sweet and cool. And you can wear it on chains. I would wear that on pearls. I think it's that's the way to wear it. Yeah. I like it is absolute perfect. And it's highly collectible. So if you know what it is, it's a good opportunity to get one. It's an auction. You know, if you wanted one, they're not making them anymore. They are from that era, the Joan era's classics. So very nice, Adrian. Nice. Stunning, right? Yeah. You can yeah. even wear like like this without I, yeah, that looks hearing. like very, that's actually really cool. That's kind of, that. see, to me, my modernist um, crazy obsession, it looks modernist. I mean, you could put a I do it. there. I would definitely do it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I okay, it. so Treasure's, Treasure has bid 80. Thank you, Treasure Fields. Oh, oh Sam is works i that and thank you for that because okay. that was There's a Rivers book i didn't know there was a joan rivers book i didn't either there is Ooh, it's easy to put this back together too you just snap them back in and wear it as a brooch they're fabulous totally fabulous i mean it's now vintage but she was redoing vintage so she knew her stuff was going to be future vintage Right. You know? And didn't she use the, the, did she use the Rhode Island factories? Yeah, she, she did, did. And so she actually, she was very cool. She really wanted to use the Rhode Island factories. And then some stuff fell off a truck. Oh. And she moved to China and she was like, you jerks. She was very public about it. She was like, you jerks. I wanted to keep it here. She was yeah. using the last functioning factory in Rhode Island. That stinks. Stuck with it. Yeah. But then, you know, but she still had great quality control. I mean, I'm not poo-pooing anything that came after Rhode Island, but I think it's very yeah. cool of her that she did want to, yeah. but they did, you know, they were, they were making stuff without her name. They were knocking her off. That's not so, right. Yeah. I hate dishonesty in any, in any and every form. It makes me crazy. Yeah. yeah. Thelma says she had a pickles. I, can't believe I didn't meet her. I just really wanted to meet her. <laughs> I saw her once in a comedy club. Um, oh. She was, but she wasn't on stage. No, I didn't see her perform, but see, I saw her in the audience. Treasure knows. She has a few. Let's call it for treasure. Okay. $80. Yeah. Sold. Okay. Sold. Okay. Oh, Adrian, I don't know what I'd do without you. What do you mean? You're, well, you're so fine. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Um, okay. I love these. You guys know I love a hoop. I love a hoop. These were on the card. These are incline. We're talking about incline earlier. On the card. Gorgeous hoops. These are beautiful. What number are you going to ask me? Um, oh. Okay. What number? 23. Starting bid $25. These are stunning. And I love them. Oh, they're links. I love, them. I love a hoop. These awesome links. Thelma, you're going to ask me. I know what the weight is. <laughs> I know how this goes. Oh, that looks good on you, Adrian. I love oh. a hoop. That, no wonder. I know why you love hoop. That looks great. Oh, you need oh, those. Oh, keep them, keep them, friend it forward. That oh, looks so good. Oh, Barbara's in for 25. Barbara has bid 25. That looks really great. Those are nice. These are beautiful. These are, are nice. 
And they're 13 grams. They they are not like, they're a beautiful earring. I'm happy to wear an earring this way, but I do um, want to tell people, um, you know, what, what they're like because you know, the people, old Anne Klein, people the don't old, have them. Yeah, I think the old Anne Klein is very underrated. I think it's really good. Well, look you at know. the gold on that. And it's, it's on the card. So it's never been worn. I can't imagine wow. someone ever wore it, wow. it back on the card. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to do, do this. Yeah. Barbara's at 25 looking for 27. And then do I have one more piece? I'm losing track uh, on. Princess Casual says old Anne Klein. Old Anne Klein is lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful yeah, those look really good on you. <laughs> like Thank you. I have so many hoops. So I, you know, when I sell oh, something, man. it's because I have something else that's similar. Um, and, you know, I mean, if you guys ever saw what was in this room, I, I, I don't know what you would do because it's crazy how much jewelry I have in my collection at this point. But show of hands, everybody, show of hands if you think that Adrian should wear hoops every day. <laughs> I have them in, I have many pairs in 14K, Sterling, and then many, many costume pair and Vermeer, of course. Yeah, these are beautiful. Um, so going once to Barbara, such nice pieces yes. tonight. Thanks, Pixel. Um, Don, do I have one more or is it your turn? Um, you can go ahead. But is it my turn or your turn? Uh, I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'll, do I'll, do one. One. I'll do one. You want to do one? Yeah. Do it. Because I said that the the um, the little Santa Fe thing was the the one of the nicest things I have. I actually, I still think that's the nicest thing I have, but this is more money. This is also nice. But it's well, only more do money. We do we call this? Oh, uh, Barbara. Okay. All right. Barbara? 25. You went for 25. Thank you. Okay. Kristen says she used to be a hoops girl and now she's a stud girl. That's like an old joke. You know, I used to like Paul, but now I like John. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. That's cute. It's a line from uh, Vanilla Sky, actually. I mean, it really is like a, a thing. So this, I, this is Black Hills Gold. This is vintage. It has the old uh, Mount Rushmore like marking in it. So it's everything that is correct about Black Hills Gold. It's 10 karat gold. It's sterling silver. It is most likely created ruby, although they did use real ruby in the 80s, but we'll just call it created ruby. I researched this today, and it's called the wrapped vine motif. See, to me, it looks like it's a real one. And I can tell the difference between, because the lab ones, although even the real ones are, are so treated, they are glass filled in things. Yeah, this is probably a created, but the created ones researching today used went anywhere from 200 to $400. So if you like this ring, I am, I'm serious. Like 200 on Amazon, 400 on Etsy, you know, anywhere in between. So if you like this and you want it, I'm starting it at 160. It's pretty. It's Can nice. You it closer, just a little bit closer. It's, you know, it's very typical of uh, Black Hills Gold. Beautiful. And, Beautiful color. And yeah, it's a little marquee ruby. They don't even bother like saying anymore if it's created or not. Um, they are created, you know, I guess nowadays, if you just say Ruby, it's good enough. I don't know. In my day, you had to say if it was created, but I've noticed that they do that sometimes with diamond, with moissanites too. They'll say things like mm -hmm. moissanite diamond, but anyway, see the little leaves, a little vine. So I know it's $160, but if you've wanted one, like if you want, oh, treasure, <laughs> If you want one, it's a good opportunity. I, I wish I could show you the markings in there. Treasures has bid. Awesome. See? Look, you can actually see it. That's the old um, Mount Rushmore thing. And what's cool is it? Oh, 
Hold on. Oh, how nice. What's cool about the old ones, though, is that they were actually made with the gold from South Dakota. The new ones are made from gold in other places and then sent there and then made there. So it's still made in the U.S. This is um, a six and a half or six and three quarters. It's six and a half or six and three quarters. It's not quite a seven. There's the side. I love the color on that stone. Oh, it's pretty. I mean, it's these are very much, you know, they're, you know what to expect. If you like Black Hills Gold and you like this jewelry and you like the vintage ones, you know exactly what this is. You know, it's quality controlled. It's like not a surprise. And I can't get it to be straight. <laughs> Don't you feel not excited on this thing? This camera is, I'm just not going to look at the mirror. I'm just not going to look at the image. I'm just going to look at my hands. <laughs> that works. See? Oh, I'll put it on. Yeah, let's see it on. It's beautiful. It's so pretty and feminine. And it's that grapevine motif, you know, that they have. They always have the grapevine motif. Lovely. We're looking okay. for 170. Treasure Fields is in at um, at 160. So at this point, we're looking for 170. Let us know if there are any bids for this amazing Black Hills gold ring. It is beautiful. Vintage jewelry, Galora says. I would love to just give it to, to Treasure. All right, let's do it. I would love to. Yeah. All right. Gone. Yeah. Sold to Treasure Field. Treasure, I hope. And I have to say, Treasure, I'm so glad that you like this now. I know you like this because of the friend it forward that you got coming to you. So because it's also kind of feminine and gold, uh, goldy. So that's all I'm going to say. So get excited. <laughs> Get excited. All right, Don, what do you think? Um, well, it's seven. We've been at it for two hours. Should we call it? Yeah, let's call it. We can. I, I can always come back. Put in the comments if you were waiting for anything that we talked about. I know that you guys saw the cat rings and things like that. So um, if you wanted to really see the cat rings, let us know. Or if there's anything um, that Adrian had you know, that you were expecting, let us know, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, and, and write to us overall. I mean, I, I had somebody who's a, a longtime customer write to me and say, I am getting married and I need wedding pearls. And what do you have that's 16 inches with a beautiful clasp? And I just pulled it from my collection and sold it. So if there's something in particular, Don and I have huge collections. If you're looking for a KJL something or you're looking for pearls or, you know, Black Hills Gold or whatever it is, mm -hmm. let us know and we're happy to, um, oh. to either sell it to you or, you know, talk to um, talk to one another about it. The big coin type ring. I still have. Well, Don has. Uh, Don, is that a coin ring that you have tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is who's asking for it. Barbara. Barbara, uh, Barbara, just e just email me. I'll just I'll just figure it out. Just email me. We'll figure it out. What I want to do right now is I gold want to. I do have a gold cuff pulled for tonight, actually. All Can right. On? Yep. All right. Um, it's a smaller cuff, and it's vintage Avon, and it is uh, it is super pretty. It's lattice style. And Dawn, it is number, oh, where is it? I don't know what number it is right now. That's <laughs> it was. It's getting towards the end of our auction. Um, I, I might have, I might have put it on another page. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's gold tone. It's lattice. It's got a safety 
and we can start this at 15. Oh, that's pretty. Right? Yeah. Do you have a gold cuff bracelet? I don't have a cuff pulled um, for tonight. And I, I have to look through because my bracelets are kind of in three places. Um, All right. I have an idea. Yeah. I think we should call it. It's been two hours. Let's call it. Right. But before we do, I hope everyone's still there. Um, how many people does it say are there right now? 70. 70. Okay. So no, we have 50. Anywhere. <laughs> no, no, listen, we have 52 thumbs. So please click the thumb if you can. And I am right now putting in my channel link. So I just put it in. It says Hudson Vintage. It says YouTube channel, blah, 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 UHA at the end. Click on that, guys. We are signing off. So, oh, is someone bidding? No. Yeah. Treasure Field says 15 for the Avon bracelet. Oh, okay. I'm just going on. Okay, go ahead. So what are you putting in the chat? Oh, okay. So before we sign off, my idea was that we ask them to click on over to my channel because I released a video today. So if they haven't watched it, if we if you haven't watched it, I wanted to give you the link so you could go watch it. I think it's about uh, 14 minutes and it's okay. on it's on the modernist collection that I did the unboxing of. So and so it's awesome. I watched it today. I have never seen such outrageous pieces. And I watch you all the time and I've seen outrageous pieces, but this was like another next level experience. I know. She's yeah. I know. She's I can't tell you who she is. And there's more coming. There's another box coming. So And Don and um, I both sell um offline. We have our own um links posted on our pages so if you like what we sold tonight and you want to see more of our collection you can go on to our pages says, amazing. okay so i'm doing this right now so oh treasure fields got it for 15 so yeah. maybe you did that I did. okay so then i'm just gonna do the link to the channel uh so don's yeah. good treasure fields I'm glad. Go watch Dawn's video. Also, subscribe if you're not already. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for coming. I'm not exactly sure when the next um, auction will be with both of us, the next Bobbles and Bubbles, but we will post it and watch Dawn on May 9th for Mother's Day, and I will post when I'm next doing a video. Love you All guys. Right. Thank you so much. Cheers. That was fun. Bye. Bye.